Carnival Expo 2016. We've just been covering all the vibes and the energy. We've been dancing with the Brazilian dancers. We went to a soca dance workshop. And we've been talking to a lot of the, the designers behind all of the beautiful costumes that you normally see during Carnival. So right here with me, I have Shari of Shari Originals. And Shari does a lot of the designing for Burakeet's Mass Band. Shari, how are you today? I'm good, I'm having a lot of fun today. We've been with the Brazilian band, dancing, playing the music, really good fun. Really. And why did you feel that it was important for you guys to be represented today here at Carnival Expo? Well, I think it's a great opportunity, this expo. It's the second year in the running, and I think it's about time that we had something like this. It's a very long-awaited event that's needed to give all the bands exposure and for the London Notting Hill Carnival. So it's very important for us, and it's good exposure for designers, for masqueraders, for children, for old people, everybody, young people, you name. <laughs> so tell me a bit about um, the theme for Borough Keats for this year. Sorry, so I, I didn't hear. Just tell me a bit more about the theme of your band for this year. Oh, yeah, the, our theme is Sassy, Crazy, Cool. And we just wanted to take a light-hearted hearted look, a fun value look at Carnival. And just looking back on the years of the sassiness and the craziness and the coolness of all the Carnival and, and the, the feelings that people have with Carnival and, and taking part in Carnival. So. so, if someone hadn't taken part in Carnival before, how do they go about registering with your band? What do they need to do? Well, you just go online. Um, we particular we're Borough Keats Online, www.boroughkeatsukonline.com. And um, we just take the bookings online. You know, we just you just tap in a few details about yourself and and you take it from there and a, a deposit. Okay, so a very important question. Do I have to have the body of a supermodel to be in a costume on the road? No, 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 not at all. We welcome everybody, every size, every genre. We want to encourage that no matter what. We welcome everybody. So please. Okay. So Carnival is for everyone and every body. That's the most important thing. Every color, every, everybody. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you so much, Shari. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so we've spoken to a few of the mass band leaders. We've soaked in some rum, which is very important, but there's one thing missing. We haven't had any food, so let's go. Stay tuned, we're gonna find some food. without talking about food. So we're here about to get our grub on, but also to speak to one of the food vendors that have been here for the two days of Carnival Expo. Gail, tell me about your store. So Manja 876 is my baby. It's from, it means eat 876 is the Jamaica country darling code. And I just invented it. I love Jamaican food, I love Italian food, I love food, I love serving food to people. And my thing is, no food belongs to anyone. So I thought, let me fuse the most braggadocious cultures together and see what I get. And Jamaicans say, that ain't Jamaican, and Italians say, that ain't Italian. I say, it's mine. So that's what it's about. So tell me about a few of the dishes that you've been serving up. So I did my, my signature dish is a jerk aubergine mozzarella ciabatta, which I really love. And what I love about the aubergine is, most people don't like aubergine, but when they try it, they, they don't even miss meat. It takes on the flavor of jerk like nothing else I've ever tried. And so that's my favorite dish. And today I did um, the chicken cacciatore, which is a hunter's chicken in Italian, but it's pretty much the brown stew chicken in Jamaica. So we're, we're worlds apart, but we're the same. So how have the last two days been for you? 
it's been high energy. One thing I will say is, no matter how fusion I get, never forget the rice and peas. Okay? So, I, I, it's been amazing. It's, it's been wonderful seeing people try it. It's, they're, they're very warm, very receptive, very welcoming. They know what they like. And, but they're still willing to have a conversation with you. And my colleague over there, she's been amazing. It's been this kind of rough. Oh, we're gonna go team. check her out, definitely. Yeah, so we've, it's not been about competition, it's collaboration, and I love that. That's what this whole event has been about for me. Perfect, Gail, thank you so much. We're gonna come back and get our food later, okay? Absolutely. Thank you. All right, so thank you so much. We're gonna go over here to God. Okay, so. We're here at Chalet Let's Eat, the second of the food vendors at Carnival Expo. And let me tell you, I have had the plantain. The plantain is amazing. So tell me a bit more about Chalet, but first of all, introduce yourself. Say that again. There's a lot of noise right now. Let me know your name. Uh, hello, my name is Lee. Um, I'm half Ghanaian and half Guyanese, and I run Chalet Let's Eat. So tell me about Chalet Let's Eat. What kind of food can we expect? Chalet Let's Eat is a food pop-up and street food brand that launched in 2014. Um, we do traditional Ghanaian food as well as kind of more innovative stuff that I've come up with in my kitchen at home where I fuse like Ghanaian traditional meals but present it in a way that people haven't seen before. Yeah. So how do you feel about being at a predominantly Caribbean event? What's the, what's the reaction been to your food? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, <laughs> okay, um, that's a very good question. Um, I would say that um, there have been mixed opinions. Um, obviously, a lot of the party and celebration elements of carnival uh, originate from West Africa. Um, however, I feel like um, the food has been received. Uh, oh God, I, I don't know how to say it in a more concise way. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's a very good question. Um, the majority of people have received it well and have enjoyed um, tasting something different. Um, I think the favourite dishes have been our peanut stew, which is a typical Ghanaian dish that we serve with um, plantains and rice. Um, uh, yeah, so it's gone down well. So what has been your top selling dish for today? My top selling dish has definitely been the beef as a desi. It's a traditional, oh and the kelewele as well. The beef as a is a peanut stew with beef, pumpkin and okra. Um, and it comes with rice and plantain. It's spicy, it's peanutty and it's meaty. So I think that's why people love it. And kelewele has also been something that's um, gone well today. I think because plantain is something that all of the carnival communities can relate to but it's just done with a bit of a Ghanaian twist with the spices, the chilli and the cloves and the ginger which just gives it that extra kick. Um, so the food today has been received really well. Um, I think that carnival embraces a lot of different communities and cultures around the world. Obviously Mama Africa is where it all started. So uh, yeah, the food's been received really well. That's really interesting. <laughs> But thank you so much for being here today. I love your food and I especially love your planting. I know. I think this is maybe the fourth time I've seen you eat my Kelly Uh Maybe. Maybe the fourth time. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So one of the reasons for Carnival Expo is to promote carnivals not just in London, but throughout the UK. In fact, throughout the world. The Caribbean is not the only place that has carnivals, you know. One carnival which we've been missing in England for a long time is Reading Carnival. And we've just received an exclusive. It's back, in a way. There's actually going to be a huge park line in Reading on Bank Holiday, Monday, May 30th. All the information is on their Facebook page, Reading Carnival Lime Park. That's what you have to search for and you'll find all the information there. You heard it first, Reading Carnival slowly making its way back um, for a park climb. <laughs>